So this is a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle. Um, so that's special because uh, instead of having carbon dioxide emissions like an internal combustion engine, it just the only byproduct it creates is water. So it takes hydrogen from a tank and oxygen from the air. And there's an electrochemical reaction in the fuel cell that creates electricity to power the car and water. So water vapor is the only byproduct. There's no carbon dioxide emissions. Well, the design phase started about a year and a half ago, so about 18 months. Um, this car we've been building since about September, um, but the design has been in the works since the middle of last year. So the competition is Shell Ecomarathon Americas, and the point of the competition is to use the least amount of fuel to go a set distance in a set amount of time. So uh, we, we use a certain amount of hydrogen and we want to be able to travel that distance using the least amount of hydrogen. So we've built our car to be as efficient as possible. So it doesn't go very fast, only really like 30, 35 kilometers an hour, but it's very efficient. We tried to make it really light, so we use carbon fiber to make the shell and a lot of the interior components. Yeah. Um, we also, because we don't have an internal combustion engine, it's more efficient because fuel cells are more efficient than internal combustion engines. Um, and also it's smaller and lighter than your typical car, so of course this, it would be more efficient than a full-size aluminum or car that, that you would see driving on the road. And we have to go 10 kilometers in uh, 25 minutes. So EcoCar is really exceptional to, compared to other project groups and to engineering in general in that we have a really high number of female members and I think um, there's a lot of reasons why that's the case. I think uh, we do a lot of outreach and we don't tailor our outreach just to male students or anything. We make sure to include everyone in, in who we're trying to um, do, in, in who we're trying to recruit. Um, and I think we, we do a lot to make sure that people on the team feel that they can contribute and that they can stay on this team and that it's somewhere that they could feel themselves belonging. And I think that might set us apart from other, other groups because we've really been able to have a lot more female members that stay on the team and that join the team. Um, that has really contributed to our high gender ratio.